so in this session we learn motion guide like path or guide like you can show an object and you can show one small path so on that particular path the object moves okay so again i'll take one small circle okay and you can group this only for shape tuning we are not grouping any other uh, options you can group no problem i'll take some 50 frames f5 like frames now right click on this particular layer and click like add classic motion guide okay not the guide the lower one add classic motion guide just click on this so automatically you'll get a new layer here so i'll show you again control z it's an object right click say okay click on add classic motion guide so we have a new layer automatically coming here so you can take one simple pencil and draw one stroke okay i'll take the thinnest one not so thick okay just draw one stroke now come back to the circle right click create classic twin last frame keyframe like f6 now from first frame okay it is here so we could go to last frame you can see it automatically catches the guide then just move this here on this one path just see now so that particular circle moves in a path in normal classic twin it goes straight but because of this guide layer or path it moves on path and you can edit this path anytime on the go for it turn in one frame one second sorry there are separate keyframe was there okay so you can edit the path in when it is moving also no problem see okay this is called guide motion guide okay i'll show you again so first we'll take one small object okay practice like this first okay you can use this wherever you feel like that particular object or element has to move in a path it will be very easy so first one small circle then object then we'll have some frames to start with okay then right click add classic motion guide so you'll get a new layer here automatically then you take pencil and draw one path then come back to the circle right click create classic twin last frame f6 okay and take the normal move tool and just move this circle on the path once and very important when you are doing this if you feel like it is not coming on the path wait this is coming properly so and important when you say control enter you can't see that path so it will be very nice the only the object is moving on the path and you can't see that guide so it is good now if when you are drawing if you feel like it is not coming then you are going to try again that time please break this object before trying maybe it goes straight now it is not working on the path then you want to try again that time break this because normally what happens whenever we do any animation automatically it goes to library and there is like history kind of thing memory so it will be having the old memory of the old path so better break this and try again on the same file okay this is about path okay i'll do i'll show one more okay now i'll draw a small leaf okay so all are very very simple techniques i'll remove lines no problem don't go with the design just we are learning the concepts now i'll make it little small okay Sorry, it is taking every time frame in the last frame because there are some small glitches. Okay, now right click, convert, add classic motion guide, and in this I'll draw. Now I am doing the path like this where it cuts. See, 
like this very important there are no there won't be any openings and there won't be any cuts like this so it won't work so smoothly very neatly you are going to draw like this chalo now i'll go back to leaf i'll go for some more frames because path is very lengthy right click classic twin last frame f6 i'll go to first frame again i'll keep the leaf here go to last frame try to do once now manually because of these cuttings so it is better to do once manually so just for a memory okay now we'll see moving very fast because we are having only 50 frames so i'll increase the frames i'll go for one of the 50 now check see so leaf is falling you can try something like this leaf is falling or uh, flowers anything you wherever you can do with the path now so that is coming very flat so what you can go for that click anywhere on the twine twin go to properties say orient to path now see the fun that it rotates as per the path see like this this is a simple leaf animation if you want to slow down just add frames okay i'll show one more technique okay not only pencil you can draw normal circle also so i'll show you how it works i'll take the circle i'll remove some frames you could draw 100 remove okay remove frames and i'll just give 30 35 group this now right click classic sorry classic motion guide and i'll take circle here normal circle and without fill color so we are having only line here one second we are having only line as a path here so you can cut like this like simply cut in one point so starting point will be your last point will be here it is not like every time you have to draw you can use these oval shapes also so i'll cut here and back to circle right click classic twin last frame f6 i'll make it little small even in the first frame i'll make it small just see that both are same okay so first frame i'll keep the circle here last frame i'll move it like this okay see so you can work like this also again guide okay and we can change the path as i told you first i'll just check what will happen now Yes, it is working. So you can change the path, and even for animation, when it comes to center, I'll make this big. So you'll feel like perspective. See, first frame I'll make it small, and even the last frame. See. So you can play like this with the guide, motion guide. It's very very important. Okay. so this is all about how guide works like create what is that motion guide okay so very simple first draw one object then click on this add classic motion guide in that new layer draw a path and just uh, for the object give classic twin show first frame and last frame that's all okay now in this i'll do some animation for this f5 right click classic motion guide if the class are very fast please pause and check see i'll draw a line so even you can edit the line it is not like you have to draw i can edit the line like this back to board right click classic twin last frame keyframe and i'll just move it here 
first frame okay, it's moving so click go to properties orient to path so it will bend little bit see it will be bending okay this is all about motion guide we'll have a small assignment on this okay that will be in a different video just practice this much first if you are confident like okay you can do this motion guide neatly then we can have assignment thank you